Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and here we are in the oil field. So last time we built this really nice long section of rail and um, one of the things we're going to do later is put some radars along it so we can see along the entire path. Um, but for now, we're going to go ahead and build a station here. So um, I was thinking, since this is way, way off and it's hard to get to, I would really like to wall in this uh, this base, this new base that we have here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see. First, we want to build a station for our train to get here. So let's go ahead and get our rails and then kind of build a little um, thingy. See, so maybe like there approximately. That should give us enough room for, let's see, if we put a turret down here, where are the turrets? I completely took them off because we were using them in military mode. But this, these guys are the same size as the laser turrets. So we want one space from there um, and maybe another space. So there, and then we can put our walls something like here. You always want to leave a space for the wall so that biters don't, they can climb over and they can hit the turrets if they're within, you know, if they're like right next to the wall. So anyway, we're going to put our wall down here. And then we want to make something called a gate. So let's see if we have those researched. Oh no, we don't. Okay. Let's get those going first and then let's get We'll put that mining productivity back on because that's great stuff uh, because that also affects the um, the oil. Stack inserters. We definitely need these. Accumulators are going to make solar power viable because they're like batteries that store the energy. So we'll get that. Um, and then modules is just an intermediate tech that enables us to get modules. We'll talk about them when we actually research them. And let's see, modular armor could be good. It gives us better armor, even though it requires advanced circuits, which we need oil for. But um, let's go ahead and research that as well. Just kind of put some things in the queue here. Stronger explosives. Wait, do we have flame? Oh, flamethrowers. Hello. That gives us the flamethrower turret, which we definitely, definitely want. So let's start that research real quick. All right. Um, let's let that uh, get ticking over here. Um, so a gate is basically a wall that you can put on a straight track, but it has to be a straight track. It cannot be a diagonal. So we're just going to prepare for that research to finish. And we're going to just start building our wall kind of around this area of the, um, the oil spots. Let's just kind of give ourselves a tiny bit of room here. All right, sure. And just have it connect somewhat like this. Actually, we can just copy this section and then just place it like this for our nanobots to work on. I think one layer should be enough for now. Okay, let's see. Let's copy a longer section. Oops, let's go and get that one. All right, so this is our last oil patch right here. So let's just give this a little bit of room. Go like this and boom. Very nice. And our bots are taking care of that for us. Okay, we got our gates. Let's go ahead and make some gates. They are here. We need four of them uh, because it's per tile, not per track. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, very nice. And okay, so this is... I think we placed our station in a little bit of a weird place. We're going to change that actually. I don't like this positioning here at all. It's a little bit too, too far, too far, a tiny bit too far. So I'd rather have the station within almost a square section of stuff. Okay, so take that off nanobots, please. We thank you for your service. Excellent. Now then, uh, let's go and put this track down. Where did we want this track? Somewhere like here-ish? Sure, let's do this. And then if we have the straight section there where we can have the gate, I think that would actually work quite well. So let's take this one off and then just have it curve this way into the, the track again. All right, let's get these gates going on here. Uh, those are in our inventory and they have little uh, hazard marks on them. You need to rotate them to the correct orientation and then you just place them down. 
And when you're away, they close. When you come near, they, they open. So it's kind of handy. Now, you can also make uh, player gates <laughs> if you don't want to go inside the train gates. Whoopsies. Apparently, I messed that up a tiny bit. But let's see how long the train needs to be. Uh, it's kind of important that we um, put our gates... We Like I said, it has to be on that straight area. You can see if we try to put them on a diagonal, it just doesn't work. Now then, uh, let's put down the stop, which is, where is it? Right there. Okay, I do want a signal. Can we sneak a signal in there? We can. All right, so we want to block this off and have a separate block for the train station. Um, we need to remove this tree. I apologize, tree. You looked great, but sorry. Um, we're going to make this train four wagons long. So I want to put power poles between each wagon. So we have engine one, two, three, and four. Okay, we need one more. Okay, and then we can actually put the last, si we want to have a signal here, and then I want to put the train gate. So let's get those gates going. Put it here and there. Can I remove this? Oh, it's good. All right, cool. So then what we want to do is connect it up to here. And just make sure that we can do this. Okay, that goes there. How's that with our oil patches? Almost. We can just kind of sneak that in. Let's get this lovely thing. Something like that. And bring it on over like this. Okay, that sounds good. And get rid of this. And just bring the rest over here. There we go. Nice. So a tiny bit funky and we need to have a little bit of wonkiness because this is going to be a curve. So let's go ahead and add that in. So we want to have a, let's press shift. We, need, we want this to connect to this rail here. So what we can do is if it's being wonky, like giving you diagonals all the time, what we need to do is press R and that adjusts the rotation angle as you see of the end piece so this is kind of what we need let's see that we want to have it as interesting looking as good as possible i think this is okay like this is fine so we're gonna make it that way and i think let's see this is probably gonna be the end of this line so we can just delete all of this other stuff and not have to worry about all these other things down here nor do we have to worry about these signals over here so we're just going to delete these. Kind of miss the old sound for picking stuff up. Not a really a fan of this new sound, but it's okay. Whatever. It's not that important. I think the old one was a little bit more high pitched, but I think it might apply to other stuff. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so this doesn't go anywhere. We can't, I guess we could delete it. I don't, we don't really need it. So there we go. Take that off. Okay, nice. And just get rid of these tiny end bits here. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we have our train station. We do need power. So let's get our power pole there. Of course, we don't have any power because I forgot to connect it. But it'll be fine. So um, let's do the train station first. I brought pumps from our uh, our base. Where did they go? Okay, an easy way to find them is just to click or, yeah, mouse over and it like highlights in the inventory. So there they are. Um, I'll go ahead and put them here temporarily. So for this kind of a train station, these pumps load the train immensely quickly. Uh, so you only need, you only actually need one, but we're going to do multiple because we want the oil to build up. And there's a nice little tank configuration that you can use for this. So let's find our tanks, which are here. We have eight of them, which is exactly the right amount. Uh, and then we can just copy this. So we're gonna need a one pipe here, and then we're just gonna copy this over. Yay. Yeah, tanks are funny. They do have, um, at the corners, they have outputs on this side and then the top side and same here. And this is what's connecting to this uh, pump that we can load the train with. 
So let's go ahead and put our train down as well. I need to put train on the hot bar because I use those very often. And when you put it down, you can see how it kind of snaps into place, which is nice. And remember, we did bring our four fluid wagons. So these will be here to load. The train is going to need some fuel, so let's add something. We can add coal, so we'll just put a few pieces of coal for now. Or you can actually put a half a stack. I mean, let's just see. Control, right click. There we go. Uh, but it's going to get more, more um, coal at the main base. So I want to name this station. And we're going to call this uh, Oil 1. Oil 1, right. And we're going to make the color... Uh, black. So 000 is black. If you do all to 255, you're going to get white. And then you can adjust them. Say like, you know, red and blue is kind of magenta. And if you bring down the red, it's more purpley. And uh, similar with green. If you bring up the green, you get kind of yellow or orangey. So you can adjust the colors that way. It's quite nice. Um, yeah. And so we're going to do this. And then if we copy... If we control right click the station and left click the train the train gets that color which is kind of nice so you know you can adjust the, the color with this little eyedropper tool as well okay so this is our station i'm very quite happy about this um i think we're going to need some more pipes so i'm going to craft a few of those in our inventory here and we're going to put down a few pump jacks so you can either run around and I love that the devs did this green square thing. That's really handy. Um, but if you are having a big field in the middle of a forest, I like to use this blueprint. Um, where is it? Let's see. It's in oil. And it's called Huge Pump Jacks. And this somebody made this. I think I found it somewhere or somebody gave it to me. And it's basically like all the pump jacks. You just press shift click and it automatically places them all down. I really love that for forests. You can, I think, I think it's in my Google Drive. So uh, feel free to check it out. All of my um, blueprints that I'm sharing are in the Google Drive. So um, please co go and uh, go and grab them if you are interested in using some of them. Uh, of course, I always recommend that you build your own because I find it a lot more fun. But um, if you need them, they are there. So let's go ahead and just connect these things together. You can use all regular pipes if you want to. I find it easier sometimes though to connect these things and then in bigger areas than just use undergroundies or underflowies I should say. So that, the, so that you can walk over them or step over them. So like here I want to use an underflowy and go there. Oh, no, no, no. There, thank you. Now, I did make a mistake in not bringing power because what I like to do generally when I have an oil area, to make sure all the pipes are connected, I would be like, I would start one of these things and then try to connect all the others and see if the oil flows through everything. So, um, but no, I have not done that so we're just gonna have to wing it and it's fine we'll just make sure and and if they're not connected i'm sure we'll notice later uh okay so in this kind of an area i don't want to overload the uh piping too much so we're gonna have two different connections we're gonna have one connection here let's see and then let's see these guys can be in their own little um collective as well so let's just get this over from this end point there actually I might do this kind of thing oopsies no give it back there you go thank you so the trick to that what I just did there is I um so let's just talk about this um so here here's what it was and I want a connecting thing which is a straight little guy so I pressed Q uh right clicked it to delete it and then I moved it so that I already had the piece in my hand and then I just put in the rest of that. Okay, so all of these are pointing up. That's fine. Let's move that one down. And then just connect these like this. Most of these, if they're going to connect to an underflowy, are going to need a connecting piece like that. Let's see, go this way. And then underflowy so we can walk. I remember the days where, like, the the, the fashion was to use uh, beacons with stuff and uh, because you know it would increase the oil supply oil is a funny thing in this game let's see let's 
get this up here. We'll just have a central pipe going that way. Because oil is infinite and the pumps will produce an amount like, uh, does it tell us? Expected resource is 32 per second and eventually that goes down quite a lot. So instead of putting productivity in these guys, you would put speed modules most of the time. And uh, so you'd have all these beacons around and put a bunch of speed beacons. And now we have the productivity research, which is kind of nice. So it's almost always best to put the speed modules in anyway. Um, but if you're working on a big map and you're having a real world, it's probably best just to go out, way out in the boonies and find better oil because the patches get richer the further you move out. So let's see, if we look at this coal patch, it's 8.5 million and this is 21 million. And as we go further and further, it will be more. If you don't have a great computer, I would suggest you go not around and around, just go in one direction and you'll see the amounts of ore get crazy. They just absolutely get staggeringly huge. Now then, um, we need to get power to all of these things. So let's get our long distance power poles, which are here. Nice. And then we'll put this somewhere like this. And the trick to getting these guys up to power is just kind of wave your magic uh, wand near them and they will uh, power everything at some point. Okay, this is not an ideal location. There we go. And then because the game kind of sees like, oh, okay, we need to power these things, all these things. Okay, let's do a little bit of redundancy and connection just in case the biters eat stuff. Okay, so those are all ready, except, you know, no power. <laughs> it's it's fine. Don't worry. Um, all right, and I want to do something here. I want to put some radars down, and I, I want to put, like, several, because at the moment, we have no vision whatsoever of this area. Like, we need to scan all this stuff, and I want it fast. We can reduce it to one radar eventually, but I want to have four for now. And here, I don't know what's beyond here. I think there might be biters close. So we're just going to put down a few of these turrets. A few meaning like a million of them. Kind of the whole line. Yeah. And we're going to put in some of these guys and a power pole. And we're going to put in a belt here as well. Like this. And I'll just copy this whole thing. Copy, paste, and copy this, and then we'll just take it down. And we may need more stuff to make this work. Yeah, we're going to need more inserters for sure. But at least we have the, um, the backbone of this thing, which is great. And what I want to do is put ammo on that line. I don't have any on me. Again, we came ill prepared for this. So yeah, we're going to put this belt through here and this is completely temporary and I really mean that because um, we want to get lasers as fast as possible. So once we get those, we are going to be converting this entire thing to that and we're not really going to need this. So we're going to be a tiny bit swaggy here and just put this belt like this and put a chest here so that we can just drop the ammo in there right from the train. And we already have power there. That's nice. Okay, let's make sure that we have power connection here and also redundant power connections there. Just a few of them, like one there, one here, sure. Okay, that should be enough um, in case the biters get in here. Okay, perfection. This is great. Um, let's take the train back, go to the opposite end of things. Let's look at tech first. Now we have all the modules that we can do. Um, cliff explosives. We're going to need that. So let's start that research. We have refined flammables, which gives us basically fire damage and flamethrower turret damage. Oh, that's tasty. We need some of that. Uh, rocketry. That gives us rocket launchers and rockets. And uh, look what's here. The Spider-Tron. Oh, we need that eventually. Um, it's not that important at the moment, but yeah. Stronger explosives too. Grenade damage and landmine damage. I know someone who wants me to use landmines. Um, I don't really use them, especially not until we have construction bots. But we can try them out. There we go. And then let's see, stronger explosives too. Yeah, and then we'll get rocketry as well. And just kind of like queue all these so that they're done. Um, all right, we're going to 
drive this train with uh, W and S. W goes forward, of course, and S goes backward. And, oh, I forgot one thing. Hello, radars. Oh, we're perfect. It's fine. We didn't screw up. It's, it's just fine. So watch on the minimap for the blue area of effect here. There we go. And then we're going to get radars. And I love that it shows the radar coverage even if it's not powered. That's so it's such a handy thing. But I'm kind of looking for places where the radars don't overlap. And just watching for that square there and hoping it's fine. There we go. There's another one. And then we'll need one kind of toward the end here. Okay. Very good. I think we'll put it uh, here is fine. Oh, that's actually perfect. Very nice. Okay. So this is our area here. I think this is a good area to do stuff in. I'm thinking I want this entire square part because we don't have cliff explosives yet and we won't until we get oil going. This would be good for oil. So I'm just going to mark this oil. And we're going to put a little um, refinery icon. And by the way, when you're doing this, actually, we'll just do a, do I have a refinery icon? Should be in the buildings. Yep, there it is. Nice. Um... When you're doing this, you can right click in order to get the tags for the maps. That's how you get them up. And then you just type and then you can choose an icon. And then like this, we could put an oil section. What it's really nice for though also is just like right clicking over this and just having a green circuit symbol, for example. And then you can label all of your areas this way. Like this is going to be iron. Icon, iron plates, confirm. We know this is copper. Confirm. And then you can also do this. Oh, M for mall. We could, we could do a mall thing right here. <laughs> M. Um, all right, cool. And then power, maybe you could do like electricity, whatever you want to do. It's all it's all a thing. You can do big electric poles or something there. Or, or we could be steam engines as well. That's another option. Let's see. Do steam engines. Where are you? There you go. Okay, we'll do that. So, and then of course here we have steel. Let's just mark down the steel. And this is kind of a nice thing so that, I don't know, if you forget stuff where stuff is, you can see. Oh, and then stone bricks are right here. Nice. Stone bricks. Where are you? Where are the bricks? Oh, there they are. Yes. Okay, nice. So now immediately it becomes a lot more clear what's going on. And I'll probably go through the rest and mark them later. But right now, we want to build a station for this science to happen. So we can actually go and copy the other station a tiny bit if we had power. Um, and I'm going to take power over right now um, because, yeah, that was a bit silly not to do that. I want to actually see what's going on. I'm going to run down there and... Also get some more supplies in our mall, I think, so that we can just put out those inserters, get a few more belts, that kind of thing. Yay! Okay, so immediately this whole thing, this whole corridor is now powered and we can see the pump jacks working here. Let's see if everything is working. They're all working right now. One thing to watch out for, why are those blinking? Oh, it's probably just because the crude is bouncing up and down. Um, one thing to look for when you have this kind of a situation is if something is disconnected, eventually the pipes will fill up and they'll stop. So look for stopped ones uh, to check if they're all connected. And then these guys are just filling up quite slowly here, but at least they're producing something. Now then, um, I want to get some inserters. So let's go grab those. Grab a hundred of those. And I also want to get some red belts for a very specific purpose here. Hello. Sure, that's fine. And then dump off the, the stone. I definitely don't need this stone in here. Oh, you know what? Something needs stone. Is it railroads? No. It is railroads. It is. You need stone. Here, take my stone. Have it. Go for it. Enjoy yourself. Yay. Um, I can also grab a couple more railroad tracks. 
And I think the other things we need are going to be our refineries. So let's take one stack of those. I want to get some chemical plants. We can also put the rest of these guys back in. So shift click those and put them back in. And get some chem plants so that we can get everything together. Let's see, we have a lot of other stuff that we need. I think we're good on many things, most things. Sure. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, that's great. So my my thought with this is this section here is going to go away after some time. Uh, so this entire section might be a good corridor for bringing the oil and oil products over. So at the moment, what I can do is just lay down a belt from here. We're going to need a couple of different items here. And we can have one slow belt and one fast belt. Because we're going to need two different things from oil right now. We're going to need sulfuric acid, which is going to come... We'll just put that on the iron belt here. We need iron for that. And then the other thing we need is going to be plastic. And that comes from coal. So let's see what we can do here for coal. There we go. I love that the devs have... Um, changed that whole thing where we can now um reach longer it's nice okay so let's see what is the structure of this bus here i think i'm gonna place it down a tiny bit so we have this is bus this is a section this is a section as well so we're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have a bit of trouble here <laughs> That's what we're going to have. All right. You know what? We'll fix it later. It'll be fine. It's just fine. We can always move things and get them to, to work later. Um, just use one of these. Again, Q to pick up an item that is, is good here. Going to use this. Now, the reason I used red belts... Is not because we need a red belt. It's so I can walk faster. That is literally only the only reason. So let's copy this whole thing and get our nanobots to work for us here. All right, there we go. Just want them to get stuff going. And this is going to be taking stuff to our oil area. But yeah, having a quick walkway is so helpful before you get power armor. It's really, really nice. So do we need another... More walkway. I think that's enough. Let's stop that right there. That seems okay. Rocketry finished. Hooray! Let's see what else we can get. Stack inserters are great. They um, enable you to pick up many, many items at a time. I forget the base amount that they allow you, but then you can get research that increases that amount as well. So let's start those. And modules. I think we're going to leave that for now. Let's talk about these things later. They're not going to take that long to research as we've seen. So I'll just leave them until a tiny bit later. Okay. We have the stuff we need. I th oh, no, we don't. Let's make, let's see, eight, one, two, three of these. I forgot the, to pick up a stack of tanks. It's not something you deal often with, but uh, they're kind of useful. All right. Let's go back here and... Grab the station blueprint from here. So we might let's see how this is going to go. So I don't want the wall. Oh, whoops. Okay. We're going to do control C to copy this and then press shift. And that puts it into an actual blueprint. Uh, I don't want these power poles. So we'll take those off. Okay. Uh, I don't want that belt there. I don't want the walls. So I'm, I'm right clicking to remove all of these things. The power poles, yes. We want the station as well. We do not want to copy the train stop name. Because uh, if you don't change that, <laughs> you can have issues. Uh, let's see. Gates, yep. Off. And I think the rest is good. I think that's actually okay to have those there. Oh, we don't want the box either. So you can also right click it right on here if you don't want to try to guess it over here. Uh, or or just do some of them. And if you want to restore it, you just left click it to get it back on. But we don't need that iron chest. So we're going to create this blueprint. And then place it down here. I love this. You can actually place it from map mode right here. Um, What is that little, little dot? Oh, it's the lamp. Darn it. Okay. 
we want this station somewhere like this. Yes, we want it kind of by these cliffs so that it unloads here and then the refineries can be right over there. Okay, yes. Good. Okay, and stuff is getting made. Now, for now, oopsies, oopsies. Okay, let's go backward, backward on the train. We're just gonna delete these tracks for now. And delete this, go away. And ever, anytime you have like a sticky outy thing like this, you should always delete it and just be careful what you're selecting. So we're gonna delete that because what happens is if you drive the train straight, it can get caught on those things and it's just a tiny bit annoying. So just be aware of that. Excellent, all right, we're gonna delete this. So we have no issues here. We're going to get into signaling later in the um, the playthrough, so don't worry, we'll get to that. But at the moment, um, this is just kind of an end of the line thing anyway. Now then, uh, I'm going to name this station something. It's going to be Base uh, Oil. Okay. And this is... Black is a great color. And now... We can tell this train what we want it to do. Now, for the sake of convenience, what I like to do is I add this, the station that is away from the base because pretty much everything comes to the base. So if they all say base oil, base oil, base oil, you have no idea where they're going. So we're going to add this one first. It helps us find it in the train directory. Um, and then we're going to add a wait condition. So this train is going to wait until... The fluid is a certain amount. Now you can do flu full cargo, but sometimes fluids are really weird. This one is picking up crude oil. So let's see. These cars, they hold 25K. You can see that in the right hand side there. We have four cars, so that's 100K. So what I want to do is if fluid is greater than say, I don't know, 95K. Let's get that going. 95,000 set. Okay, so 95K. This tells the train when to leave. So when the fluid is greater than 95K, it's going to leave and it's going to go to our base. And then this one, we're going to do when uh, cargo is empty, empty cargo. So when it's empty, it will go back. All right. So I think we're good. And then here, um, just make sure you're not standing on the tracks. Um, you can click the play button or you can go automatic button, whatever you feel like. And you can see the route that the train has chosen to go back to oil one. It will not stop at the base yet because that's the second stop, but it's going to go all the way down to oil one and then fill up over there. So when you look in the train directory, which is this icon, which I hope gets changed at some point because it looks like a bale of hay, um, you can see the schedule and it only shows the first two stations. So, but we can also narrow that down by, oh, okay, it's going to oil one, great. So yeah, that's that's how that is a way I like to set things up because I find it really convenient. Now then, I want to connect these, um, these things. So let's connect those so that they can unload this stuff. We're gonna leave research alone. Stop it flashing by just pressing T twice. Okay, here we go. Look, 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 we have stuff. Oh, this is great. Oh, we have things, but we messed up. We need to reverse these. So if you press R and rotate, they rotate just back and forward because they're a weird, they don't do, you know, yeah, they just flip basically. Okay, life is now better. We have stuff here. This is fantastic. All right. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.